Welcome to statics classes by civil thinking and today we are going to solve a problem on equivalent force systems. Now before I move on I suggest to you to please watch the video lectures on force systems one by one in sequence as in the playlist so that you understand better. The playlist link is in the description or also you can click on the pop up on your screen. Now coming to the problem. Find a force couple system at point A of the beam which is equivalent to force system shown below. Now we have already solved this problem and now in this class I will show you another approach to solve this problem which is quite easy and which is very conceptual. Okay. Now what is it saying? We are asked to find the force couple equivalent of this beam at point A. What does it mean? We have to convert all these forces to one force at A and one single moment at A. How we are going to do that? Now what we will do? We will move all these forces to point A because we have to find the net force at A. Okay. And we will also move this moment at point A because we have to find force couple equivalent system at A. Okay. So let's move it one by one. Now. We know when we move a force, we also have to add up it is moment, okay? Because we have to convert each force. When we move this force from point C to point A, we have to also add a moment at point A because of this 200 Newton, which I have already made the class, okay? So let's move one by one, one for each force. Let, now let's move each force to point A and also add up their corresponding moments to point A okay now I have already explained this concept in the previous class if you have not watched that lecture please watch that video lecture okay now let's do it so let us move the force 200 Newton let me draw a figure here first Okay, we have to move all the forces to point A. Okay, now this 100 Newton, it is already here. And this 100 Newton, it's already at point A, right? Now we will move the force at C. Okay, let us move it to point A. This is 200 Newton, right? Force at C. And we will also add up a moment at A due to this 200. Now 200 is going to exert an anti-clockwise moment, right? Now, moment due to 200 is, let us say it is M1, which is equal to negative 200 multiplied by, how far is 200 normally from point A? It is 2.5, 2.5, okay? Why negative? Because I have assumed the anti-clockwise moments to be negative, okay? So, let me use a calculator. Negative 200 multiplied by 2.5, it is minus 500 Newton meter right so I will also add a moment here which is 500 Newton meter I don't have to write the negative sign here because I have already shown with the help of arrow that it is anti-clockwise okay so I will only write 500 Newton meter now let us move this 400 Newton from point B to point A like this 400 Newton and let's also add the moment corresponding to this 400 now let moment due to this be m2 now it is going to exert a clockwise moment at point a and 400 is at a distance of 2.5 plus 2.5 which is 5 meters from a okay so it's going to be 400 multiplied by 5 right now 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 right it is 20 0, 0 newton meter okay which is clockwise so we have a moment here 2000 newton meter right now let us also move this 1900 newton meter to point a let me move it here 1900 newton meter okay now i think we have uh, moved all the things to point a now what we have to do is just add up these forces and add up these moments and we will find the force couple equivalent system at point A. See this is very easy like this okay. 
Now let us assume upward forces to be positive and downward forces to be negative. So the summation of forces at point A will be 200 plus 100 minus 400, right? 200 plus 100 minus 400. Now because they are vertical forces, let us assume them to be along y axis, okay? So it is 200 plus 100 is 300, 300 minus 400 is minus 100 Newton, okay? Now let us find the force, net force at A in the y direction, in the horizontal direction, summation of forces at A in the x direction. We have only one force, 100 Newton, okay? 100 Newton, which is towards right. Now we have this vertical net vertical force negative, which means it is downwards, okay? So I will erase this negative here and write a symbol like this, okay? So what we can do here, we can erase all of these forces and write a net force at this point, okay? So let me erase here. Let me draw the beam here. Okay, this was our point A, right? Now the vertical force net is 100 Newton downwards. So I will draw 100 Newton downwards, right? And we have a horizontal force towards right, which is 100 Newton, right? So I will write it like this. This one is 100 Newton, okay? Now we can find the resultant of these two forces using the parallelogram method, right? Now, because they are both equal, the resultant will be exactly in the mid of them, okay? The total angle is 90 degree, so the resultant will be like this, which will be at 45 degrees with horizontal and 45 degrees with vertical, okay? So resultant is whole under root of 100 square plus 100 square, okay? Now when you use the calculator, you will get the value to be 141.42 Newton, okay? So we get the resultant here 141.42 Newton. Okay. Now we have to find. Now we have we have find we have to find the force couple system. Okay. Now we found the force. Now we have to find the couple. Couple is the net moment at A. Let us assume the clockwise moments to be positive. Okay. And anti-clockwise moments to be negative. Now let us add all the moments at point A. Okay. Now. Summation of moment at point A is now we have a clockwise moment here, which is 2000, right? Then we have an anti clockwise moment, which is 1900, and we have an anti, -clock anti clockwise moment, which is 500, which is negative, right? Because anti clockwise moments are negative, okay? So let me use a calculator to calculate it. It is 2000 minus 1900 minus 500 okay i get negative 400 newton meter okay so the moment at this point a is negative 400 newton meter now the negative means anti-clockwise moment right because negative moments are anti-clockwise so i will draw the moment here like this it is 400 Newton meter okay and the force is this okay this is 141.42 okay so this is the equivalent force couple system at point A of this diagram okay see it is very easy okay so if you have any doubts please comment and see you in the next class thank you